But you were known, Imran, as a, as a the cricket field, you were known as completely fearless. No opponent ever put fear into you. But when you're a political leader and you're in the situation that you're in now, uh, where there's a, a genuine threat against you of assassination, do you feel fear? No, you know, Piers, I'm at a, well, when I entered politics, I actually had conquered my fear of dying. Otherwise, I would not have entered politics because I came in to stand up against the entire status quo. I came, came to fight corruption. Today, the entire political spectrum, 16 parties on one side and I'm on the other side. And because this was the status quo, which is 60 years of the last 62 years, half has been ruled by military and half by these two families. So I came to fight these two families. And this is really what I've, I've done. And they have made so much money out of this that they obviously, clearly someone like me is a threat. And, and that's why this uh, uh, foreign-backed conspiracy involving local players took place. Now, I know that they would uh, try to... My life has had various threats over a period of time. But this time, I found out about this conspiracy, so I went public. The reason... I have no fear of dying, but it, is, it was important to let those guys who were planning, to let them know that I know. Right. It was actually, in a way, a form of protection.